live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, we've got baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres and the Milwaukee Brewers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to roll here. And today's starting pitcher, Colin Ray. Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. We'll elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. Okay, all set to go. And here is Xander Bogarts. The pitch. And takes low for ball one. First pitch, 12 10. The pitch swings and misses, and that's strike two. One and two, the count. Outside. <laughs> two two down. And One another down. ball. Good plate take appearance the there. Able to take the walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, well that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Fernando. Very gritty. Bogart dives back. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. That ah. one finds the zone. Oh, a two down. Well, he got away with the mistake right there. A curveball that backed up a little bit, stayed high in the zone. You won't want to throw that one again. The other way. Dives. What a play. Just a great job of concentration there as he leaves the ground to go airborne and make a diving catch. That's a tough play, but he got the job done. Now the batter now, Jake Cronenworth. Just nope. missed. Ball. One and out. That one oh. missed. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Popped up. That takes care of Cronenworth. And there are two down. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, and a key factor for this club in that leadoff spot, Xander Bogarts. Well, he's an important part of this lineup for sure. I mean, there's no doubt about it, Boog. It's somebody that they try to feed off of. He does a lot of things, you know, very well up there at the plate. He's got a presence about him, and, you know, he's a guy that you really kind of like to watch swing the bat. Here's Machado. That's the ball. Wouldn't chase that time. The one on. 
Strike on the inside corner. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs. Swing and a miss struck him out. Padres leave one, and now the Brewers will get their first cuts. No score. Back after this on the show. Back here at American Family Field, and our starting pitcher here today, you Darvish. Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and avoid that big inning. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, hand this off to the bullpen later on, and put his team in a position to win a game. Up now for Milwaukee, William Contreras. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That to right, sizes this one up. Makes the grab one down. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click. And unfortunately, what happens is players press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. And the batter now the is ball. Reese Hoskins. Just missed. missed. The ball. Two up. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Leaping and it's gone. It just got out of here. His second homer of this series, and the Brewers had the lead. It's one nothing. You can't ask for a better start than hitting a home run in your first at bat to give your team the lead. Man, he just barely got that one out of here. You've got to love the effort in the to try and bring it back. He had a good shot on it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Next for the Brewers, Sal Fraley. Out to short, Kim. To first, oh, but it pulls okay. him off the bag. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much That's every time. Shot. Pretty routine. Really? Hard to tell That's if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. Man at first with one gone. Willie Adamas stands in. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. There's yeah. a strike. Oh, and one. Man at first, one away. Darvis checks on the runner. On the Dives pair. back. Yeah. Out. I don't know if he was looking to go right there or not, but he was clearly fooled by the pickoff move. Quick feet, quick release over there by the pitcher. Really quick tag as well. Next offering oh. misses down and away. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throw over to Cronenworth. That ends the frame. Milwaukee strikes first on this solo jack. It's now 1-0. You're dialed into the show. Top of the second. Stepping in for San Diego. Jerickson Profar. The right-hander back to work. 
Profar gets a piece there. Ray, in his fifth season, 33 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Iowa. Swings yeah. through the fastball up in the zone. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well liked umpire, Boo. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing oh. too crazy at all. One two now. And that's two, in the dirt. Two. Chris, the players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter, because pitchers got to pitch to her strengths regardless. The hitters got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what Down you can four. handle. That one misses in the dirt. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's okay, great. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. So digging in, ha Sung Kim. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The Brewers leading by a run here at the top of the second. That one the other way. Base hit into right field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Luis Campusano, the next to hit. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make a pay. First and second, no outs. Next for the Padres, Jackson Merrill. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Working on a five-game hitting streak. 0-1. Left-hand hitter waits. Yeah. No ball. Right. That one ball, a little bit high. Up. One and two to count. Tied up here in the early going. Next two, offering two. way upstairs. This one lifted in the air, left field. Makes a nice grab and a full sprint. And there's one down. Eggy Rosario now at the plate. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Oh. And the pitch a little bit one low, up. ball one. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And that one fouled off. And the right-hander deals. And That's another ball. ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And a 
a two on hammered but foul. Two on one out. Foul ball another two two upcoming. And a pitch. Got him looking. That's out number two. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. Let's see if the next guy can pick him up. So the batting order turns over. It's Xander Bogarts now. Walk to open the ball game. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. One ball, no strikes. Righty to the plate. In the air, out towards left center. Brings it in for the third out. So one run in the inning on this base hit. All even at one apiece. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in Milwaukee, here's a big power threat. Gary Sanchez. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Darvish, back to work. There's the strike. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that oh, some base do. hits, some slugs, some home runs can come into play. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. Tatis going back. And that one is gone over the right field wall. He sends one out the opposite way, and that gives him a lead. It's 2-1. did a tremendous job of letting that pitch travel and get deep. That's the only way you can hit it hard the other way. A slurve on the outside corner of the plate. He gets rewarded for it. This is Bryce Terang. And the no, slider just misses. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in. Bottom half of inning number two. Wind in the pitch. Just uh, off the uh, inside uh. corner. And the count is even two and two. The pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. There. And a full countdown. Down and full. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Outside, and that is ball, ball four. four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Got a great back and forth in that at bat. bat. Third big big play off some really close pitches, and somehow he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Now here is Joseph Ortiz. Kicks and deals. Oh. Oh. 
And there's the ball. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Two and two is the count. And that one is lifted in the air. Profo makes his way towards it. Can't get there. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Showed some really nice right. basics in that at no bat. Worked himself into a good no count. Way. That ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. they got to go a long way as well. Ground ball to first, could be two. Over to Kim, one. Relay to first, double play. I mean, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Next for Milwaukee, Blake Perkins. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Right Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now backs against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And a pitch. Swung on, popped up left side. And that is the inning. But the Brewers add one with a solo shot. And it's now a 2 1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back, all set for the start of the inning. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat. This one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. It's a leadoff double to start the third. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. is the speedy first baseman Jake Cronenworth. He's over one. First no, pitch miss, just misses. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. That one fouled off. The Padres trailing by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That ah. catches the zone for a strike. And a count one and two. And oh. another ball. Kicks and fires. Close, but call the ball. And now it's three and two. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. The pitch. Bounce to the right. Terang. That takes care of Cronenworth. 
That's a good piece of hitting right there. It's early, but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened, so you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Machado good. in the box now. Take strike one. Not many hitters go up there looking for an 0-0 breaking ball, but a good way for the pitcher to get ahead in the count. Here comes the 0-1. And Manny gets a piece. Owen 2 now. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Machado out of the play. Here comes the runner from third. He'll score on the sack fly. It's 2-2. Two -two. Well, we got ourselves a new ball game. Nice job right there at the plate. Sacrifice fly, and he gets in the tying run. Now batting Jerickson Profar. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Pitch misses. Ball one. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Fraley going back on this one. And it hits the base of the wall. And he's got a double. Had a very nice swing on that pitch right there. Got one to drive and just kept it fair down that right field line and into the corner. And it's almost impossible to track those down as an outfielder. So, man aboard. So, digging in now for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. One for one with a single so far. First pitch misses. Right-hander kicks deals. Slapped foul. Profar at second with two down. And a good the eye there. Righty delivers. And now the count filled up three and two. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Here comes a pitch. And ball nope, four to a board. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy the laying off pitches that just the missed the zone like that. And it's a real oh discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. On the ground, Toskins handles the chance. You know. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now, William Contreras. Darvish, back to work. Just no, that's missed. Outside. Ball. To the right side. Steps on first for the out. The first base is number 12. Reese Hoskins. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He's already homered in this game. In there at the knees. Going one. but that's foul down the third baseline. And 
fastball. One ball, two strikes. 0 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. One out, base is empty. Boots it. Save the first, no play. We'll see how they score this. One goal, a runner at first. Sal Fraley will hit next. He's 0 for 1. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And no one can get there. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Relay throw home. He scores and they have the lead. Three to two. Back to back base hits. I love seeing a nice trip into the gap. It's just a great baseball play. You've got to get out of the box. You've got to cut the bases. And sometimes you've got to pick up your third base coach. And on top of that, nice swing to barrel up the ball out front. And he was on his horse the entire way to third. Very well done. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. That first pitch, that's and he just misses. 1 0. One away with a runner at third here in the last half of the third. Fouled off. He was late. The shortstop takes the ball. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Well, oh, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Ah. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two out. He had him out in front, which isn't okay. easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Gary Sanchez at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. Fraley on third with two out. Next That's offering is down low. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Man, what that was count? pretty gross right there. That misses. Oh. And the count is two and two. two and He's two. been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have shown patience not going outside the strike zone. And here it comes. Ripped on a line. That's a fair ball. It's getting into the corner. In comes the run from third. It's 4-2. Fires the second too late, and he's got a double. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and whipped it into the outfield. Man in scored position with two away. Now it's the second baseman, Bryce Terang. Worked a walk at his first trip to the plate, hey. and that one clips the corner. And it's second. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0-2. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. And the righty deals. And oh. that skips into there. Two outs. And one in scoring position. That one Yo, just oh. misses. It's 2-2. Two two. It's a good take. Oh. 
stays alive. Left hand batter waits. Out to short. Kim gets it to first. And that'll keep more runs from coming in. Inning over. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. On to inning number four. It's the Brewers four and the Padres two. Out of the fourth, stepping in for San Diego, Jackson Merrill. The wind of the pitch. And he dodges and that fastball. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. And he deals. Yeah, Action in the pen down there. Jared Koenig, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. And a pitch. Late swing, foul to the left. Hey! Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Here's the third baseman, Eggy Rosario. And that's oh. outside. 1 0. And a curve oh. is down and in. Well, he looks Two more balls, focused no at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Foul ball there. And a base hit up the middle. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Up now, the Padre leadoff, man. Xander Bogarts. Throw to first. No, Rosario. In back in a dive. Hey. And there's the ah. strike. Right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Oh, Two consecutive hard. base hits for this team. Right Just to simple the ground ball the other way and add eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. So first and second with one gone. And here is Fernando Tatis Jr. One for two. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two on, one out. That one out to right. Fraley tracks it down for the out, and he moves up to third. Now two away. Now, Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. 
He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Wow. The next oh. pitch misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. He's got a rare skill set out there on the mound. Even when he's low on energy, his stuff still has bite to it. You just don't see it flattening out just because he's tired. He's still delivering good action. Line drive, base hit. In comes the runner from third. It's 4-3. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. First and second, two outs. And now it's Manny Machado. This one smacked out to left center. And that's a base hit. Runner around third. One runs in. Now he launches a throw over his head. He scores all the way from first. A terrible job getting it back to the infield, and it costs them a run. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. And now, jerks in profile. Yeah. Gets the outside corner with that one. Runner at second, two down. Close, missed, but call the ball. One and one. One ball, one strike. The pitch. Fall off foul. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And the right hater deals. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Machado on its second with two down. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Man on second, two down. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And the pitch. Ball, that's it. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Back here at American Leading Family off, Field, oh, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Joseph Ortiz. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Not one close with that one, and it's one to no. Well, these Brewers really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. Looking at the numbers, the they've got four hits when they're behind in the count. That says these guys are absolutely battling at the plate and just not giving up, despite what the count says. That's down and in. And if you're a manager or a hitting coach, you love to see your team really fighting for every at bat, every pitch. It tells you a lot about how they showed up to the ballpark today. Let's 
see if he gives him anything to hit here. That just oh, missed. He walked him on four pitches. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And there's one thing on his mind, this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. And fouled off. Belt and fires. That's the third. Nice stop to his knee. The throw on the Bogarts hey. to first, not in time. Great effort there. Just a beautiful play right there to get it out. He dives to make the stop. Then a nice feed from his knees. Knew he didn't have time to get up and make that throw. The throw beats the runner. That's that internal clock working. And now here is Blake Perkins. He popped out his first time. Right through there for a strike. Now the 01. Nope. Ball. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Here's a 1-1. One -one. That's the ball. with the swing there with two strikes may two. see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of the double play right here Example right there, that plate oh, discipline, oh, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. And now it's William Contreras. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Darvish checks over to first, and he's back. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And he grounds one back up the middle. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Oh, he throws it away. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Up now for Milwaukee, Reese Hoskins. And the first offering is not close. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Hoskins pushes a foul. Runners at the corners, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and he popped it up. Kim gets there. He's under it. He's got it. There's two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. 
Next for the Brewers, Sal Fraley. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Runners on first and third, two away. Good oh. eye in that spot. Grounds one to the right side. And that one handled on the run. Throw to first. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. All even at five apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Jared Koenig. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. But why to kick the pitch? Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Way back there. Gone. And that should quiet this home crowd. Third home run of the season. Just like that, they move in front. It's six five. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you could say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Luis Campusano getting ready to hit. In the air, right side. Fraley makes the grab. One pitch and one out. The set of number three, Jackson. Stepping in, Jackson Merrill. Merrill goes six feet three inches, 195 pounds. A former first-round pick in 2021. Fouled off left side. And that's one in the dirt. and one. One one is fouled off. One out, base is empty, and a run in. And we're at the top of the fifth. Just misses ball. with that one. Executed that pitch very nicely. Just missed with it. One down, base is empty. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. at the bender for the strikeout. Well, oftentimes that's the pitch he's trying to set off, the curveball. He'll lean on it pretty heavily, so you've got to be expecting it. Look for it and sell out so you don't miss it when you get it. And a foul ball. In the air to left center. Perkins makes the grab on the run. The Padres get one in the inning with a solo blast. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in Milwaukee, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the first cleanup hitter, William Thomas. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. That misses the zone. Ball one. Ball. 
And that one oh. is inside. The pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Right. right through there for a strike. A wind in the pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Misses the mark outside the zone. The wind of the pitch. This to center field. Merrill drifts towards it. And there's one down. Now got it. Catcher. Gary. And Gary Sanchez at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Home team down a run. Last half of inning number five. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. One one. Grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a man aboard now with one away. Number, number, number two, two, second baseman. Here's a speed threat. Bryce Terrain. Popped up right side. He's under it. And there's two away. Well, that's a frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. Instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. And there's a foul ball. fouled off got him swinging one hit one left we're through five it's the Padres six and the Brewers five And we're back, all set for the top of the sixth. Right here, Sander Bogarts now. The second base, Sander Bogarts. The lefty fires. Line drive, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. A couple of hits in a row for him here. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Here he is in a spot where he makes most of his money against left-handed pitching. On the ground, a short could be two. Off-balance feed, there's one. On the Hoskins, double play. Nice soft hands on the backhand right there in the six hole. Starts the double play. That's not an easy throw, but he puts it on the money. Really good job to get that double play started. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. One for three. And the first oh. pitch misses for ball one. And 
and that down, one missing ball. low. Two down, nobody on, and we're at the top half of the sixth. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. And now the lefty that yeah. catches the outside corner. It's two and two. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. One hit in the inning, but no one left. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Padres six and the Brewers five. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound. Steven Kolek. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So. This is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Well, one run game up now for Milwaukee. No Joey Weimer. Joey Weimer. Just nope. missed. Ball. Next right. offering is in for a strike. Righty to the plate. Fouled off. He was late. The pitch. That one two, two. not close. And it's two and two. Up next for the Brewers. Gets a piece and stays alive. for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the oh, fastball oh, right oh, there, oh. and I don't think he was taking it, oh, thinking oh, it oh. might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. So up next, Blake Perkins. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Movement oh, in the good. bullpen. Johnny Brito appears to be getting loose. Kicks and deals. That misses the, the zone. And the count, one and two. One and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in a 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Kicks and fires. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk oh, about the one one. benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and yeah, get the yeah. swing and miss, whether it's inherited yeah, runners yeah, yeah. or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, I'll tell you what, that's huge and can change the ballgame. 
Contreras stands in here, takes ball one low. And that's ball. downstairs and outside. Next nope, pitch is ball. inside. Three balls, no strikes. Reese Hoskins would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. Yeah. And there's the automatic. And the pitch is in for a strike. Three and two now. Count is full. Bounce to the left side. Throw over to Cronenworth. Three up, three down, inning over. Nobody left for Milwaukee. Still a tight ball game. It's 6-5. Top of inning number seven. And now it's going to be Manny Machado. Kanu back to work. Ball one that's there. Down, ball. You know, these Padres showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. One thing that really stands out is their chase rate. League average is around 30%, but they're at less than 20% right now. Oh, yeah. That one's in there, and the count even at one. It's been tough fooling these guys, and those chase rate numbers back it up. They've been really smart at the plate, and that's one of the best ways to frustrate a pitcher because nothing seems to come easy. Terang over to first in time. One up, one down. The left number 10. Jerickson. Jerickson Profar, the next up for the Padres. That's hard hit in the line. He makes the grab on the run. Now that And now Hassan Kim. It was a homer for him back in the fifth. Just a solo shot, but an important swing in this game. Yeah, and it was a beautiful swing as well. Everything just came together timing-wise, and he blasted it out of here. Pitch is in there. Strike one. Two out, spaces empty. Next pitch is in the dirt, and it's one and one. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Two down, nobody on. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing doing there for the Friars as it remains a 6-5 ball game. So digging in, Reese Hoskins. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boog, he didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. And he deals. That's off no, the that's mark, down. and that's ball oh. one. And there's Do a ball. Up. Looking to get the tying run on base. Hey, and he takes one right on the black. One. And a count two and one. frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Sal Fraley in the on-deck circle. The 3-1. Three, and three, that right. gets the inside corner for a strike. Ball count.
And a payoff pitch. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. pitch fouled off again and it remains three and two also really good at bat what I like about this guy his bat stays in the zone for a long time gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another right handed reliever Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh field of punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you get the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Sal Fraley up now for the Brewers. And that's oh. off the inside edge. 1-0. Trying to hold a one run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. That one no, that close missed, ruled the ball. the ball. And that's ball two. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Here comes a pitch. Right. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. One down, base is empty. In the air, right field. Makes the grab, and there's two out. Now, now it's the shortstop, Willie Adonis. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. On the ground to third, Rosario. Zips it across. Inning over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Padres six and the Brewers five. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the eighth, and here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball there. And a pitch. And now oh. the count is even. And oh. another ball. The oh. 2 1. That one ripped left field. And gone! He sends a rocket to left. His second of the year. It's 7-5. So frustrating for any pitcher. Finished outside the zone, and he still managed to get punished with the home run. <laughs> Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, and it paid off. Wilson into the game pretty tight game so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here got to do his best to keep the score right where it is so digging in now for San Diego Jackson Merrill 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a fly out yeah. down the middle for a strike it's 0 and 1 Wilson in his fourth year 26 years old and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2016. Back and forth we go a seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. And 
here it comes. And they'll do it again. And that's One ball, outside. Two It's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you ought to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable out there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Rosario, wow. the next to hit, takes ball one. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers, number 49, up and throwing. And a pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Sanchez puts it away. Two away. Now back. Second base. Xander Bogart. And here comes Xander Bogarts. That's in there. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. It's a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. That's Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Just oh. missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And that one is lifted in the air. Terrain under it. Makes the catch inning over. But the Padres add to the lead on a solo homer. It's now 7-5. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Angel De Los Santos. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Gary Sanchez now. And it may be a long the shot, catch. but a triple Gary. here given the cycle. Why to kick the pitch? Right through there for a strike. Meanwhile. Activity in the bullpen. Robert Suarez. The closer is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. The pitch. Strike two. Righty delivers. Up and in. And that's ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Out to short. Kim with the throw to first. So they get the out after a long battle now at the plate. Second base Next for Milwaukee, Bryce Terrain. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Fouled off to the right. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. 
Oh, and delivers outside. Shot. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Liner, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Pitch hitter coming on, Christian Yellich. Runner on first with one down for him. Here goes the runner. That's in for a strike. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Tying run at the plate. This one in the air right field. He's got it, and there's two down. Now got it. Next for the Brewers, Joey Weimer. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. That Back one's in there, 0 on 1. With the tying run at the plate, here the bottom half of the eighth inning. And now that it's hit. even That's up. Ball. Right through there for a strike. The tying run at the plate. That's a ball. And another ball. And oh, this God. is inside. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Blake Perkins in the Milwaukee on deck circle. Rolled over to third, Rosario. That's the third out, inning over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Padres seven and the Brewers five. Now into the ball game on defense, Oliver Dunn. He's the new third baseman. Now at the plate, Leading Fernando on, on Tatis block, Jr. The right field. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. Junior. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. <laughs> and there's the strike. So how much does his speed no factor no into strike. his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, right. he thinks this ball is going to get down. Oh, because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. Next one misses. Going to count one and two. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Right-hander kicks deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. And the right-hander deals. Now, and a strike down for the first out here in the ninth. Jake Cronenworth, the next to hit. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct Good. on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a 
a ton of baseball as a kid. One down, base is empty. And it's fouled away. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. Headed down the line, towards the line. Won't get to this one, it drops foul. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Base is empty, one away. You're at the top of the ninth. And the next one, pitch is way outside. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Hauls it in for the out. Out number two. Now designated hitter. Here's Manny Machado now. High in the air, out to right. Freilich after it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for him there. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Padres 7 and the Brewers 5. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Robert Suarez. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Blake Perkins up, up now for the Brewers. The the center center. You got the number nine hole hitter right here. Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or yeah. maybe even walk it off. That clips the zone. Strike one. Out to short, Kim. Sends it to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Now, now, a couple of pitches and a quick out. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. And now the DH, William Contreras. That's Ball. inside. Ball one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throw over to Cronenworth. Just one out remaining for the Brewers. The first baseman, number 12, Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins up now for the Brewers. That catches the top part of the zone. That's strike one. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. This could end it. Yeah, that's, that's outside. outside. Now one and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Two down, nobody on. Good job to fight that one off. A one-two. And that's another ball. ball. Two outs off the plate inside, and it's three and two. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder.
at the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Darvish with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.